After being baptized by John the Baptist, Jesus Christ was led by the Holy Spirit into the wilderness, where he was tempted by the devil. Jesus fasted in the wilderness for 40 days. Luke chapter 4 verses 3 to 4, King James Version. Satan said to Jesus, If thou be the Son of God, command this stone that it be made bread. And Jesus answered him, saying, It is written that man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word of God. Satan tempts Jesus a second time. Luke chapter 4 verses 5 through 8. And the devil taking him up into an high mountain, showed unto him all the kingdoms of the world in a moment of time. And the devil said unto him, All this power will I give thee, and the glory of them, for that is delivered unto me, and to whomsoever I will give it. If thou therefore wilt worship me, all shall be thine. And Jesus answered and said unto him, Get thee behind me, Satan, for it is written, Thou shalt worship the Lord thy God, and him only shalt thou serve. Jesus was quoting Deuteronomy chapter 6, verses 13, which says, Thou shalt fear the Lord thy God, and serve him, and shall swear by his name. Satan tempts Jesus a third time. Luke chapter 4, verses 9 through 13. And he brought him to Jerusalem, and set him on the pinnacle of the temple, and said unto him, If thou be the Son of God, cast thyself down from hence. For it is written, He shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee. And in their hands they shall bear thee up, lest any time thou dash thy foot against a stone. And Jesus answering said unto him, It is said, Thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy God. And when the devil had ended all the temptation, he departed from him for a season. The devil purposely misused Psalm chapter 91 verses 11 through 12, which he quoted from, trying to imply that Jesus should jump from the temple and that the angels would catch him and protect him. Jesus and Satan engaged in an intense conflict during this time. There was a terrible confrontation between the will of God and the will of the devil. Satan attempted to foil God's plan for mankind's salvation by trying to influence Jesus to sin. Satan knew that a sinful Messiah could not be a sufficient offering to atone for the sins of humanity. However, Jesus could not sin and could see through Satan's tactics. Jesus is tempted by Satan in three different areas that correspond to temptations that we all face today. These areas are the lust of the flesh, hunger of any kind, the lust of the eyes, also known as covetousness, and the pride of life, also known as a lust for power. The first temptation that Satan presents to Jesus is an attempt to get him to question God's divine care. Jesus would be acting independently of his Father and using his own power to satisfy his hunger by turning stones into bread. The response of the Lord demonstrates that the nourishment of the Spirit is more valuable than the nourishment of the flesh. The second temptation is an attack of Jesus' faith in an attempt to get him to test his Heavenly Father's promise of protection from physical harm. But Jesus refuses to test God's protection and faithfulness. Jesus has complete faith in his Father and has no need to test him. The third test that Satan puts Jesus through presents him with the opportunity to seize the kingdom and escape being crucified. The response of the Lord is one of faithfulness and no compromise. He wouldn't worship any false gods. He would remain loyal to God only. Sin is almost always portrayed as something acceptable and even desirable by Satan. But the remedy is found in the truth of the Word of God. Because Jesus experienced life as we do fully human, he is able to understand our difficulties and provide the specific assistance we require to fight off temptation. Temptation is the same for us now as it was for Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden. There has been no change. Being tempted is not in and of itself a sin. Everyone can fall prey to temptation. A widespread misconception among Christians is that if they are tempted, they must be falling victim to sin. However, being tempted is not in and of itself a sin. You will face trials and tribulations, and Satan will tempt you, but God cannot and will not ever tempt you. God, however, will test you at periods in your life. You can only give in to the devil's temptations to the extent that God allows it in his will. There is a limit to how far he can go. The Bible teaches that God will always provide a way out of any situation. 
The adversary, the devil, and our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ engaged in a battle of wills in the wilderness. The devil was strong. Jesus was worn out and weak from hunger. He had gone 40 days and 40 nights without eating anything. How could he compete with the devil, who had already won the battle against Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden? Both Adam and Eve were able to eat whatever food they desired except for one fruit from one tree. They had a lot of strength. They were created in the image of God. Nevertheless, they gave in to the temptation and committed acts of disobedience against God, and they sinned. Both you and I have given in to temptations in the same way. We are born into this world as sinners. The Bible says in Psalm chapter 51 verse 5, Behold, I was shapen in iniquity, and in sin did my mother conceive me. Because of our own free will and choices, we are also sinners. There comes a point in time in each of our lives when we knowingly decide to steal, lie, or covet something. Each one of us is answerable to God for our own actions. Therefore, we become sinners through our everyday practices. The more we engage in it, the simpler it is for us to engage in temptations such as lust, greed, hatred, lying, stealing, including pride, jealousy, and anger. All of us face these challenges, and as a result, we give in to Satan's temptations. Men and women's deepest need is spiritual. We require forgiveness, we require justification, and we require reconciliation with God in order to move forward. That is why the Lord Jesus Christ appeared on earth. Concern for others is expected of us. Jesus commanded his disciples, Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. Jesus cares deeply about the struggles that people face every day. But the deeper need of mankind can only be satisfied by nothing other than his death and resurrection. It would have been very easy for Jesus to avoid dying on the cross. But if he had done that, neither you nor I would have any hope and would be lost. Due to the fact that the cross is the only means by which our relationship with God can be restored, we would be cut off from him. Jesus declared that man would not survive merely by eating bread alone. How can people devote all of their time to establishing things for this world while neglecting to make preparations for the world to come? There is eternity waiting for us after this life. This life is a preparation for eternity. Come to the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The devil is cunning. In appearance, he is similar to an angel of light. He leads people astray by attempting to convince us to believe a lie by falsely quoting the scriptures, misapplying them, or removing a verse from its context. Scripture is to be compared with scripture, and the word of truth is to be correctly divided as a result. The Holy Spirit is supposed to guide us as we study what the scriptures have to say. Jesus was tempted by Satan in the same ways that he tempts us. Jesus knows our struggles. But he never sinned, he cannot sin. Hebrews chapter 4 verse 15 says, For we have not an high priest which cannot be touched with the feeling of our infirmities, but was in all points tempted like as we are, yet without sin. Satan tempts all of us in different ways. He knows what our weaknesses are. The devil tempts us by saying, That job is yours, that additional money is yours. If you will just compromise your faith, Compromise your principles and compromise the word of God. My friend, Satan paid a low price for several of us. It didn't take much for him to get our attention. All he needed to do was promise us a better circumstance in life, or a better job, or a bit more money, or a little more fame. God knows our weaknesses better than Satan does, and he will never allow us to be tempted beyond what we can handle. Are you victorious in the fight that you have every day against the devil? Are you making progress or are you falling further and further behind in your fight against temptation? The Holy Bible says in 1 Corinthians chapter 10 verse 13, There hath no temptation taken you but such as is common to man. But God is faithful who will not suffer you to be tempted above that ye are able. But will with the temptation also make a way to escape that ye may be able to bear it. My friends, if you are not saved, or you are unsure if you are saved, I am pleading with you. 
to give your life over to the Lord Jesus Christ. I invite you to say this prayer with me from your heart, believing. Heavenly Father, I come to you in the name of Jesus. Your word says that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. I'm calling on you, Jesus. I'm calling on you to come into my heart, be the Lord over my life. I need you, Jesus. I have broken your laws, God, and have sinned against you. I am sorry for my many sins, Lord. Please forgive me. I believe your promise that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thine heart that God had raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. I believe you, God. I confess to you and everyone that Jesus is my Lord and my Savior. And I believe in my heart that you, God, raised him from the dead. Please help me to resist the temptation to sin and help me to live a life that is pleasing to you. In Jesus' holy name I pray, Amen. If you prayed this prayer and you meant every word, you have the assurance of salvation. If you just said this prayer for the first time, please leave me a comment below to let me know. I would love to welcome you to God's family. I pray that God blesses you all. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends so we can keep making them. For more videos like this, hit the subscribe button and remember to click on the notification bell. Also, be sure to check out our other videos as well. Thanks for watching.